Hello, family and friends. Today we're going to be out in the yard, uh, touching up some things, doing a little maintenance, uh, using a few new flowers, uh, doing some updates, and some before and afters. Hope you enjoy. Yes, this is a nice day to water. It's beautiful out here, nice, comfortable temperatures, and making sure everything gets nice and hydrated. Janice went all out with pink this year. We have the pink hydrangeas, geraniums, and there's some orange and yellow uh, mixed in. But for the most part, most of the yard is pink. Got pink all the way around the fire pit. And we've been doing a lot of weed pulling, and there's still more weeds to pull. Got the Dusty Millers and Creeping Jenny on each corner here. Yeah, we've been using a lot of Creeping Jenny this year because... And we love that trailing, trailing effect. This is the Tuxedo Hydrangea. And when I think of hydrangea, the first thing I think of is it's a shade plant. And I'm just looking around. And we really don't have any shade. But the Tuxedo, that thrives in the sun. We have the pink diplodenias, the dracaena that uh, we kept all winter long. And look at these diplodenias with that the, the white highlights on each petal. That nice trumpet, uh, trumpet shaped petals. The geraniums down there. And each one of those little green dots is a geranium. Uh, we're going to be doing up, updates so you can see how those fill in. Uh, the Gerber daisies, uh, zonal geranium, and we have the diamond head elephant ears, and another tuxedo. Look at the blooms on this one. This one has smaller petals, and we have a Gerber daisy up top. We put these two geraniums together because they were a little skimpy, so we put them together to make a a fuller geranium. Now this tuxedo has smaller petals on it and nice clusters. Our uh, diamond head elephant ears, uh, they're growing a little slow this year, but we're going to fertilize them and uh, get them to speed up. Uh, Creeping Jenny hanging over the side of this pot. Gerber daisies. Now we have a lot of space open space in this bed because we have some other plants that are going to come up so we've been taking our time planting so that we know uh, where things are when they come up we're going to have uh, some black it. elephant ears come up the uh, escalentas and um, for the most part just a random um Escalenta elephant ears coming up. Now these diamond head elephant ears, we're going to be fertilizing these and watering them. We uh, The pot that was in the center, we moved that to the side so they could get more sunlight. And they get six or more hours of sunlight, uh, even if that pot is in front of them. But when we move that pot, it's getting morning sun as well. So now it'll get more than the it will get plenty of sun and definitely sun all day got the red gerber daisy up top showing off the tuxedo going in close on these uh these blooms and the fire pit glad we have the opportunity to water before it gets, starts getting extremely hot because we have to get up early in the morning and water um, in order for the uh, we had some rain in the forecast but 
when you look at the radar, is the rain is breaking up before it even gets to us. I think I may have to go up to the nursery and get some more Creeping Jenny because that's going to be nice hanging off of our uh, pots. And Janice just had to have these tuxedo um, hydrangeas. See, right now they're in the shade. They're in a uh, dappled, what do you call it, uh, filter sunlight. But for the most part, they are in the sun. And all you have to do is just keep them hydrated and, you know, water them good. Like the first, the first year, you want to um, keep them, I'm not, it's not soaked, but you want that soil to stay moist. And then after they're established, you know, they're able to dry out between watering just all over the yard and just looking at things to just to see how how things are doing and all of these plants in this uh in this yard are full sun plants and i'm glad that we have a big selection to to choose from and our yard just does not have any shade, very little shade. And we have a, uh, our shade bed, we limbed up a bush, like raised a canopy to, um, so that we would have a little area of shade to, to grow plants. Yeah, very little shade in our yard. We have a bush around front that we uh, raised a canopy on and we're able to put a few shade plants uh, that can be seen from the front porch. Now on this bed here, we have slates going all the way around the outer edge uh, for decorations. And also that's less weeds to pull. <laughs> Love having those slates in there. Here's the uh, zonal geranium with the uh, dark leaf with the green margin. Look at that. Beautiful. We were giving uh, geraniums to our friends, and I just I saw this one, and I just couldn't part with it. So we're going to be taking care of this one and seeing how big it gets. I put some uh, fertilizer in there, and I've been keeping it watered. It rained um, night before last, and the pot was dry the next day. So I'm like, wow, this soil is just really drainable, and I got to be careful with that. So I'll be keeping my eyes on that. Now, this coleus here is a deep red. You can see the serrated leaves, but they're not pointy. See how they have the rounded, uh, rounded detail on the leaves? And every once in a while, you'll get a green, green leaf in there. Now, this... That red coleus will get huge. I'm talking like four feet, four feet tall by four feet wide. Now here's the tuxedo, dark foliage, hydrangea, hydrangea, containers or garden, full sun to part shade, free flowering. And these will get three feet by three feet. That's a nice size to where you can uh, um, have a nice pop of color and a decent size we started off with one but then she said you know what we better go back and get a couple more of those because they were going fast i mean they could not keep these things and when we got back they only had a few left thank goodness they were nice now these two garden flocks are over there and we plan on putting a hydrangea here and one over here so We'll have three hydrangeas and two uh, garden flocks on the entrance. And these are the Thailand Giants. You can start to see the lines in there between the, between the veins. And they are really nice. Uh, these are growing a lot faster than the other um, elephant ears. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get some more black cow and put around. Or either, um, or either, I don't know, I just got to get them fertilized and watered. 
Now the Thailand Giants are doing fine and these are some Shasta Daisies here. And this other clump of Shasta Daisies aren't even blooming because they haven't been getting enough sun. But you can see the difference just a foot, a foot and a half makes. The ones that are blooming are sitting out in the sun and the tool shed is shading out the other ones. We're going to be transplanting those and putting them around um, one of the elephant ear beds. Uh, the upright elephant ear. Um, the upright elephant ear already has uh, daisies around it like these. And we're going to go ahead and put in some other clumps to complete the circle. So here's our upright elephant ears here. As you can see the ear, well you see the new leaf coming out at the bottom and the the elephant ears point upward. So those are the alocasias and the colocasia elephant ears point downward. Here's some Shasta daisy buds that are about to open. And there's weeds out here too. So we're going to jump on this bed this um, this weekend and get rid of the weeds and put a sharp edge all the way around it. And we're excited about these buds that are about to open because these are perennials. They come back every year and we don't have to worry about planting around these elephant ears. So, And also we found out that we don't have to dig up our elephant ears because uh, in zone 7, all you have to do is just throw some leaves on top of them and on warm days you can well when it gets closer to spring like when you start getting those warm spring days you can take a peek in there and see if they are still alive but all you have to do is reach down to the bottom of the elephant ear and see if it's firm now these um, diamond head elephant ears, and yeah, we're definitely going to be fertilizing those this weekend. We're excited about these tuxedo uh, hydrangeas. And you see that green, there's green leaves and the leaves get darker. And as they mature, they get shiny. Now here's a look at what's going on around front and the creeping jenny. Look how much longer that has gotten is um it has grown another eight inches since we put it in the ferns are getting huge and these are the boston ferns uh, we usually get the kimberly queens because they have a uh, vertical well the fronds can come out straight up at the top and see the boston fern is floppier and here's a little shade section that i was talking about in the front we have a Carmen Begonia here and a Caladium. The Azaleas, I think that's their, this is like their last, the end of their season for blooming until the fall. Got the Hello sign in pink, which is uh, goes with a lot of the flowers in the yard because she really went all out with pink. And we break up that pink with the white uh, impatience on the on the front porch you see sun shining on them right now but they that is a uh, a part shade area so it gets a little bit of sun in the morning i'm gonna say possibly two hours of sunlight in the morning three hours of sunlight and then the rest of the day is um filtered sunlight which is you know sun going through the leaves and it gets it gets sun, but it's not that direct, um, intense sun. So when the sun is getting like that, it's on the other side of the house, and that's when they're in the shade. Got our welcome sign here with the ladybugs. Beautiful pink, of course, going with the rest of the uh, plants in the yard, plants and flowers, the ferns. Everything is just looking so healthy. Glad that we're staying consistent with the watering, and I got the soil drainability almost like we want it. Now this is the the Carmen begonia creates a beautiful dark green foliage 
with long lasting blooms. The light is three to six hours of morning sun, medium moist, 12 to 18 inches high, 12 to 14 wide. They bloom spring through summer. Check out some of our other videos. Thank you.